Hold on, guys. I'm almost there. Please be okay. Thanks, kid. They got the drop on us. Took Gong and the Magister. Left me for dead. We gotta find them! Come on! Magister, you stand accused of covering up the war crimes of your ancestors. How do you plead? What? Is... is that what Murga told you? Why would you believe her? Shut up, kid. This doesn't concern you. Think it's about time you had a taste of your own medicine. 
No! Stop it! <laughs> well, isn't that a surprise? I always figured you were older than me. Well, whatever. From now on, the world is gonna see you for what you really are. A war criminal. I have always served to keep the peace of the people and the city of Shantou. If that is a war crime, then so be it. Yeah? You think you can do any better? <laughs> me? No. Sitting on a throne all day telling people what to do doesn't do it for me. But I'll tell you what. I know someone who's really looking forward to it. No. You seem unhinged, Magister. Ah, yes. I can sense your anger. Your seething hatred. But it is nothing! Amplified a thousandfold and still it would quiver against the raging typhoon within me! The Kingdom Stone is no more! The floodgates have opened! You shall welcome death! <laughs> You kill him! Open your eyes, Hatchling! This man has lied to you! All of you! His entire life! Do you remember the question? The question I asked, but he dared not answer? What happened to all of the water dragons? Shut up! I'm not listening to you! They were murdered. All of them. Entire clans of water dragons wiped out. Also, his kind could lay claim to the world that we once called home. That's... I... No, I don't... Move aside, Hatchling. He will answer for his people's crimes, and then we can talk. No, I won't. Not like this. There has to be a better way than this. Like what? Diplomacy? The art of offering one hand in friendship while the other holds a dagger behind their back? No, never again. Earth dragons are schemers and liars! Lilac, what's going on? Oh boy, a lot, I'm guessing. Your Excellency, what have they done to you? And so the cavalry arrives, just in time to witness your Magister's fatal indictment. Askel, of all people, it was you? Sorry you had to find out this way, Nia. I'll explain everything. But right now, the Magister has to go. I've already gone through the trouble of sparing one panda today. I don't intend to do so a second time. The lives and ideals of this kingdom are but an extension of my own. I will not yield! <laughs> you think to stop me? Come then, show me your resolve.
We will bring peace and stability to this city at any cost! We will not bow down to traitors! Nira, stop! That's it! We're out of here! Let them go. We have what we came for. What about the Magister? He needs to answer for everything he's done! If he wants to prolong his suffering, then so be it. His time will come soon enough. And if any of his allies return, I will kill them. <laughs> Enough, Nira! We've lost! Cowards! How could you all just run away? Nira, it wasn't a battle we could win. Right now, we have to get everyone to safety. Then we can figure out what to do. It's my home. It'll be okay, Lady Nira. Forgive me. We should get moving. I should have known better than to trust again. You have all done this world a great service. As long as my plans advance appropriately, your city will not be harmed. Bakunawa will rise. The scale must have been talking to them behind my back. Even as I was training him, I should have been paying more attention. <sighs> I failed my kingdom. Is a fish at fault when it takes a fisherman's bait? Perhaps. But the fisherman's role should not be ignored. Uh, okay. I think I get that, Magister. Of course, now I'm hungry. Me too. I'm starving! Wait a minute. Oh, I hope I still have them. The coupons! Free dinner! And shelter. Let's head to Shangmu. Your Excellency. It is a sound idea. Oh, it's you! Welcome! Uh, hi, Mayor Zhao. We're ready to redeem our coupons. Oh, oh, but of course! Just step right this way! Uh, uh, huh, um, who's that? That's the Magister, you rube. Pay your respects. Oh, <laughs> Boy, is this, uh, awkward. It's a long story. Can we explain it all inside, please? <sighs> oh, I know I'm gonna regret this. Come on. This is absolutely horrible! Catastrophic! Who's going to be my Battlesphere champion now? A talking fish just took over all of Shang-2, and that's what you're worried about? Yeah. Oh, but also dibs on the Battlesphere champion title? So can we stay here? I suppose I could squeeze you all in the library. Follow me. Your Excellency, about what Murga was telling us, was any of that true? Yes. Why? It was a different time. We were at war. We had no choice. No choice? How was almost wiping out an entire race even a choice? There are no good choices in war. There is only survival, and the means to achieve said survival. Surely someone of your upbringing would understand that. Oh no! Don't you dare try and guilt trip me! I never killed anyone when I was in the Red Scarves! And yet, did 
Did you not behave in a manner contrary to your true self, simply because to do otherwise would invite the scorn of your peers? Did you not comfort yourself with the hopeless lie that you were a good person, in spite of the crimes you committed? The sins you inflicted? You don't know what you're talking about! You don't know anything! Hey, that's enough! That's still the magister you're shouting at! Besides, this here is a library. Not after what happened tonight. Speaking of which... <clears throat> tonight has not been easy. We have lost the battle, but the war is not over yet. We need to devise a strategy. Murga is a threat to all of Avalis. Yeah, and I doubt you'd want her coming to visit your city again, Zhao. Pah! If that fish face so much as lays a single foot in my city, she'll be fried! Like... like this plate of fried plantains right here. Yeah. Only more like blackened bananas, as these babies have clearly been cooked to golden perfection. Hoo-hoo! Pass me some of that, will ya? One moment. Here you are! Focus! So what do we know about Murga, anyway? I mean, what else? Murga comes from a time when Shang Tu was at war with the island nation of Perusa. She was uncontrollable, laying waste to entire armies single-handedly, my ancestors were unable to end her, but they did devise a way to contain her. They sealed her and her destructive potential away with the power of the Kingdom Stone. The Kingdom Stone? So when the stone was shattered, that Brevin, another calamity we can lay at his feet. But what else? Murga seems to be completely set on her vengeance. Why? All the water dragons are gone now. And then there's Bakunawa. Just what is that thing? There's so much we don't know, and the only people who can tell us are long dead. Oh, those people may be dead, but there's no reason why they can't talk. Well, not literally talk, I mean, but... My library has the largest collection of historical texts in all of Avalis. I'm sure I have a few books written by people who lived in those times. Wow, that sounds super neat. I'd love to read them. Certainly. Our rental fees are very reasonable. Then I will commit myself to research. Perhaps an answer to our current predicament lies within those texts. I'd love to help too! Um, if that's okay, Your Excellency. A second pair of eyes would be useful. Yeah, while you guys read, I'm gonna go find Cory and talk her out of this. What? Absolutely not. She's with them. That makes her our enemy. She attacked us, Carol. She put you in danger. Okay, fair points all around, but listen, I know how she thinks. It's all about money to her. If you, like, 
Drop some moolah on me to bribe her or something. I'm sure she'd switch sides just like that. Everything you just said does not help your case in the slightest. A mercenary who would work for the highest bidder and change loyalties at the drop of a hat is inherently untrustworthy. I concur. It would be an unnecessary risk. Come on, we could use her help. She has that huge airship thing too. <clears throat> Don't mean to toot my own horn here, but uh, fastest airship in the country right here. We appreciate the gesture. And we shall avail ourselves to that service as well. Oh, well, I didn't mean... I mean, I guess I did mean... But it is settled. The mercenary is too great a risk. We must focus on the immediate task ahead of us. Assess the threat of Murga and stop this Bakunawa. <sighs> Of all the worst times. Traitor! What? Carol? She may be a lot of things, like reckless and selfish, but... She knows where the Magister is hiding and our plans. If she doesn't outright join Murga, then this information will be beaten out of her. It doesn't matter how we feel about her. She's placed our entire mission at risk. And that makes her a traitor. Do you hear yourself? You're talking about our friend. The captain was our friend. Pascal was our friend. Who's next, I wonder? Are you going to join Murga as well? Mira, calm down! Don't tell me what to do! Stop! Please, stop! I can find Carol. I know her scent. Lady Nira, I know you're hurting, and I know you're having trouble trusting people right now. But trust me, I would never, ever hurt you. Please. You're right. Forgive my outburst. It's okay. We'll find her together. Right! We all know where she's going, so all we need to do now is find her sister. Her ship is a Perusian carrier. She'll most certainly have a base in the Southern Islands. Then that's where we're headed. Tell Perusa! Hold it right there! You don't honestly think you can get to Perusa without my help, do you? You're coming with us? Certainly! With our combined strength and cunning, we'll get that fish based tyrant a proper what for! He wants to find a new Battle Sphere champion. I want to find a new Battle Sphere champion! Very well. Your ship would ease the difficulty of passage. To the skies, my friends! 